In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about price floors and price ceilings. Even though these examples do not have any numbers, I would encourage you to watch the video. I want to show you the impact of consumer surplus and producer surplus and deadweight loss for price floors and price ceilings. And I will put a link to the playlist on price floors and price ceilings below. Start with a supply and demand curve. So I put quantity on the horizontal axis, quantity per unit of time, and price on the vertical axis. First, I'll draw on the demand curve and now the supply curve. The point where they intersect is the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. When a price ceiling is imposed, it's a price below market price. Sometimes students get confused between a price ceiling and price floor because a price ceiling is below market price. And if you think of a price ceiling from this perspective, it may make more sense. Price ceilings are used when the government thinks consumers are being gouged and they're used for rent controls, price of gasoline, water, and Uber, which I'll do a video on that at a later time. And in a moment, I'm going to go into ad nauseum detail about price ceilings. A price floor, on the other hand, is a price set above market price. To help you understand price floors, think of a house and the floor of a house. This would be shaped like that. A good example of a price floor is minimum wage or some type of price support for agricultural products. At equilibrium, quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied. So right here at equilibrium is quantity demanded. And that's the same thing as quantity supplied at that point right here. So at this point, quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal to each other. You'll see it written in your textbooks as QD is equal to QS. Consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve and above price. It's this triangle right here. Producer surplus is the area above the supply curve and below price. A price ceiling, prices are set below market price, so there's market forces that are trying to push up the price. So the market forces are always trying to push it up, but government regulation or other regulations push it back down. To determine the quantity demanded, follow the price ceiling until it touches the demand curve, and this is the quantity demanded. For a quantity supplied, you follow the price ceiling to the supply curve and then down, and this is quantity supplied at this point. Notice with a price ceiling, quantity supplied has decreased and quantity demanded has increased. Before the price ceiling, producer surplus was here, but after the price ceiling, it shrinks to here. Producer surplus is the area above the supply curve and below the price. Now, consumer surplus before the price ceiling was this blue area, this blue triangle. To help me, I'm gonna draw my quantity supplied line all the way up to the demand curve. This rectangle that used to be part of producer surplus now belongs to consumer surplus. Since quantity supplied is less than equilibrium quantity, there are some producers who used to produce that no longer get a benefit. And that's that area there, dead weight loss. Now there's also consumers that are losing out and there's a dead weight loss to consumption or consumers as well. And that's this area right here. So there is some switching or transfer of producer surplus to consumer surplus, which is this rectangle right here. There is dead weight loss to society for both consumers and producers. Since quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied, there's also gonna be a shortage. You can calculate shortage by taking quantity demanded minus quantity supplied at the price ceiling levels. Since quantity supplied now is less than equilibrium quantity, producers have lost out. Quantity supplied has reduced the length of that red line. This red triangle is also a loss to producers and it becomes a dead weight loss to society. Quantity supplied is what's actually produced and put into the marketplace. Consumers actually get now has been reduced by the length of that blue line. Some consumers lose out and there's a dead weight loss to them. That's this gray triangle right here. And now, to determine the overall impact to society, 
I have to compare the area of the dead weight loss to the area that was transferred from producers to consumers, these two areas, and determine if the benefit is greater than, less than, or equal to the cost. Since now there's a price that's below the market price, what people are willing to pay, typically there's a nice healthy black market with price ceilings. A black marketeer can get a price anywhere below the equilibrium price because there's definitely a black market demand. There's also a potential for a black market price to be above the old equilibrium price because there's a set of consumers that are willing to pay a price to this level. So with a price ceiling, there's a potential for a black market price to be above the market price. I'll put some links below to videos on black markets and price ceilings. Now I'm going to talk about price floors. A price floor is a price set above market price. Find quantity supplied, go across the price floor until it touches the supply curve and go down, and this is quantity supplied. For quantity demanded, you follow the price floor to the demand curve and go down, and this is quantity demanded, and that's actually gone down now. Now we have a situation where quantity supplied is greater than the quantity demanded, and this will create a surplus. Consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve and above price. It was this area, and now it's shrunk to this area. Consumer surplus is still the area below the demand curve and above the price. Producer surplus used to be this area, some deadweight loss of that area, which I'll discuss in a moment. This area used to belong to consumer surplus, and now it's been transferred to producer surplus. This area here, this large triangle, is now dead weight loss to society. Let me fill that in so you can see it easier. To understand the impact to society, I have to compare the area that was transferred from consumers to producers with dead weight loss to see if the benefit is greater than, less than, or equal to cost. Let me put everything back and show you one last thing with a price floor. If government purchases the excess quantity where quantity supplied is greater than quantity demand with the price floor, there's going to be a surplus of this area here. And this would be an example of maybe a price support for an agricultural product. Share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Like, subscribe, and there's more links to videos below.